When would a buyer risk losing their escrow deposit? Hi, I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay, and today we're going to talk about escrow deposits. Now, escrow deposits are also known as good faith money, a, a deposit, a down payment, although it's really not a down payment. It can be rolled into one. But the escrow deposit is the money that people put in with the contract to show good faith. And in the contract, it will specify what circumstances the buyer may risk losing that escrow deposit. Now, the real estate contract is very, very specific. And the instances normally, now of course there's always exceptions, but normally the instances where somebody would not lose their escrow deposit is if they cancel the contract during the right of refusal period. You know, maybe something came up in the inspection period that was unacceptable, or they could even just change their mind. Now, of course, it depends on what the contract says, but the most common contract that we use, they don't really have to give a reason. There's a right of refusal period. Another thing is maybe their lender refused to give them a loan. In that case, if they can't get the loan, they can't buy it, they would likely get their escrow deposit back in a case like that. So what are the cases where they would not get it back? Well, those are usually cases where they're in violation of the contract. Like for example, if you got out of the right of refusal period and you're pretty far down the road and getting pretty close to closing and they just decide, well, uh, we decided we don't want that house. Well, they would risk losing that escrow deposit in a case like that. When there's a cancellation, usually there's a clause in there that releases the escrow, and that can either be released to the buyer or to the seller. And that's something that's usually negotiated. And sometimes people fight over it, but it's been our experience that it's usually not worth fighting over. But that's a whole nother discussion. Whether or not it's worth fighting over, that's something you need to discuss with your agent. Your agent should be very well versed in these areas. We usually recommend that people put down a substantial deposit because it really does show that they're serious and willing to stay within the constraints of that contract. Because if they stay within the contract, there's almost no chance that they would forfeit that escrow deposit. So if you have any questions or if you got any comments, put them down below. Let's talk about it. And of course, if you know anybody that's thinking about moving, we'd sure love to talk with them. So I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home, Gulf to Bay. Thank you so much for watching. Put some comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.